Welcome to Beyond the Bell. My name is Todd Grisham, alongside former two-division world champion Jesse Vargas and Chris Lloyd, all the way from England to Guadalajara. You've never been to Mexico before. How was this trip for you? An incredible trip. I felt just like home. It rained all week, so that was perfect. And then <laughs> uh, tonight we have had just the most incredible night of action. I think we set the bar high, uh, and somehow the guys raised it even further tonight. You know, Jesse, some people were saying, hey, the fights are going to be good tonight just because you're in Mexico. And I thought that was stupid because you can never expect the venue to create great fights. But for some reason... It did tonight. It did tonight. You know what? A lot had to do with the matchmaking as well. I mean, so props to them. The matchmaking was phenomenal. They put up each and every fighter that was, you know, evenly matched. They were all known as action-packed fighters. And what do we get? We got a show. We really got a treat here in Guadalajara, Mexico. I believe that there's going to be many more. At least I hope that there's many more shows here in Mexico because the action that we got, the people that we got that came out to this fight tonight in Guadalajara City, which is absolutely amazing. What a main event to finish it off with. But not only that, what a fight to start off with. You know, we started with a bang, we ended with a bang. You know, it's fireworks all night, and I'm very glad that the people got to enjoy it. Yeah, four of the five fights tonight in Guadalajara ended by knockout, including our main event, Chris. And the question we asked heading into the broadcast was, could Julio Cesar Martinez become Mexico's next big mega boxing star? After tonight, what say you? I'd say there is definitely potential for him to do so. When you look at the big fights that are north of, of this division, um, Estrada in particular, an all-Mexican world title fight, makes a huge amount of sense. There were enough vulnerabilities in his fight tonight for fighters to look at and think, yeah, I, I'm going to be the one to beat this guy. I'm going to be the one to cause the big upset. Um, but, of course, he's never going to be in a dull fight. So whether he decides to stay here uh, and unify against Nakatani or Sonny Edwards or Antem Delakian, that's going to be a choice for him to make with his team. He's going to know whether he's too tight of the weight to stay there any longer, whether it's, it's dangerous for him to do so or whether the time is right to move up. Whatever he decides, I think now, based on tonight, what we saw and what we've seen over the last year or so, he's a big draw wherever he goes. He said he was going to get a knockout. He felt like he needed to get a knockout in order to impress uh, these fans on this card, a historic card, Canelo Promotions and Matrim's first ever card in Mexico. He got that knockout that he needed. How would you rate his performance, though, Jesse, against Cordova? Honestly, I, I, I don't want to say I expected it, but I expected it. Why? Just because of the advantage that, you know, his opponent had. You know, the thing about Joel is that he knows, no one knows, you know, uh, Martinez better than Joel because they've been sparring partners for years. Mm -hmm. You understand? I mean, of course, I mean, not every year they would spar, but they spar each other pretty often. And they even had an exhibition fight together, so they know what they have to bring to the table, right? The only issue, the only difference is that uh, as for Joel, the Cordoba, he wasn't able to really feel the punches from Martinez with eight ounce on eight ounce gloves mm -hmm. between eight ounce gloves and 14 ounce gloves because keep in mind in sparring sessions it's 14 ounce gloves mm -hmm. and exhibition is 14 ounce gloves so for the most part you know the, the bang the the, the cup the, the impact of the punch has a little more cushion now he was able to feel the real thing and you know what i give him credit i give cordova credit because he was able to withstand and and, and maintain himself in the fight you know keep it competitive even to surprise you would surprise you know chris i mean honest but but it it, it generated so much action and I'm glad they both came to fight because even though Cordova knew that Martinez possessed great punching power, he said, hey, I'm not backing out. We're going to do this. We're, we're enemies at the time being, and I want to knock you out as well. I want to knock your head off. And that's what we saw tonight, and that's the result of a great fight, right? I mean, it ended up with a knockout victory, a TKO victory for Martinez, but in sensational fashion. You know, at the same time, I want to say this, if you give me a second, I think that other fighters might say, you know what, Martinez is susceptible to getting hit. You know, he doesn't have the best defense, which is right, which is correct. But at the same time, because he's so reckless in attacking, we love him for it. Like, oh, yeah, this guy fights. You know, he, he's not scared to get hit, but he comes back with his power punches, right? And most of the time, he gets knockout victories. And like Eddie said earlier, not too many young uh, uh, lighter weights win by knockout. They don't mm. possess that knockout power. Martinez does. He brings the heat. He brings the power. He brings the fireworks. And I'm really intrigued and, and, and entertained by his, uh, by his style. And after the fight, he said his dream fight, the fight he wants the most, is against El Gallo. Juan Francisco Estrada. That would certainly be a mega fight here in Mexico. And Eddie Hearn thinks he can make it a mega fight even way over in England. Can these two small weight Mexican stars take over boxing around the world? I think they can certainly take over boxing here in Mexico. I, I don't think you would do that fight anywhere else other than here, really, because why not? And what's the point of starting a brand new fight series here in order to, you know, showcase young talent uh, all the way up to the world champions if you're not going to headline these events with a fight that people really, really want to see? You've got guys like Canelo here with Eddie Reynoso and Classy Talento Promotions, Canelo Promotions, Matchroom. That draws eyes on the sport. And the whole point of this exercise 
guys in these next few years is to shine a light into Mexico so that these, do these guys don't have to travel the world to make a statement. And what better place to do Estrada and Martinez than right here in Mexico? All right, so we've done it once. We're going to do it three more times. With, with oh, let me you, you made the hand. you got to say something. <laughs> I saw the, the hand. This reminds me of a mega fight that was done in the 90s. Chiquita Gonzalez against Michael Carvajal. You know, the little giants. You know, that's what they named it. You know, they came three great wars from that fight, you know, which was, was just absolutely memorable to this day. We're in 2021, and I still remember it. You understand? So this could, this, this could be of that magnitude. I hope that it builds up to that point because it's a, it's a fight of your candidate, and it's a fight that no one should miss. And don't forget about uh, Chocolatito. I'm sure he's out there watching the same weight. I want that young buck. Bring him my way. That'll do it for us from here. For now, for Chris and Jesse, my name's Todd Grisham. This was Beyond the Bell. Martinez with a sensational KO once again. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe. All Media New York.